everybody. My name is Brandon Jones. I'm joined by Mr. Kyle Bossman. Hi, everybody. And Mrs. Elise Willems. Hi. And we all love trailers. Love trailers so much that we're going to talk about trailers extensively. We're going to watch a trailer that we've never seen before for a game called Tome. Uh, do you know about Tome, Kyle? No. Do you know about Tome? Mm -mm. I think I know about Tome through trailers, but I can't. There's like Trine and Tome and all these different Tron. indie games oh, with whimsical Toomba. names. <laughs> yeah, Toomba. Uh, Tron. So I, when I say Tome, it doesn't pop in front of my face, but that's actually a good thing for trailers that we're watching for the first time. Specifically, it's called What Makes Tome Unique Trailer, which sounds like a dare. It sounds like yeah. a challenge. <laughs> that's like, risky. It's up to Tome right now to prove to us that it is, in fact, unique. Let's see if it can do it. That logo's unique. It's really lingering. Okay. What makes Tome different? What makes Tome different? Oh. None of these are phrased like questions. <laughs> There's no question mark. Oh, because it's a MOBA. Oh. All right. Isn't that... idea that we're going to get you right into the action as quickly as possible okay cutting a lot of what i'd call the arcana of mobas out of the way a lot of games in this genre have a tipping point where you perceive you've lost the game and meanwhile you're stuck trying to finish it out there's always a chance for a comeback and that's a really good thing but a lot of players when they don't think they can win get very very angry and it brings down everyone else's experience the who does he think he's talking to <laughs> i think i can state from personal experience that you don't need to be seasoned player of the genre to really get into tone. Uh, we tried to develop guardian picks that really included the idea of easy to wow. learn difficulty. This is making a legitimate statement about his game, Kyle. Yeah. God, you insensitive. I actually, it was a little pointed. We'll talk about it. It was I a little pointed. I appreciate that. Ultimately, I think that's something you'll be able to do. Oh my gosh. Was, was this the game with the giant spinning dragon at PAX that, like, that you could ride? No, that, that game's been canceled. That was EA's. Uh, that was EA's MOBA. Oh. What was that called? I don't know. It's gone, though. <laughs> what was that? So this is a different MOBA that, that Night Peace is making? Tome Immortal Arena. So clearly, they have to prove they're different because they're a MOBA. But yeah. is this the way to do it? Um, well, this, is, this probably isn't like their only trailer. It's just, it's just they're, they're like, okay, let's make a trailer specifically talking about the differences. And what do you call that trailer? You talk about, you know, what makes Tome yeah. different or unique, whatever this trailer is. If you're be someone called. that might find MOBAs intimidating to get into, then you might think, oh, maybe Tome is the MOBA for me. I don't, it, there's there's really no groundwork I need to lay. I can just start playing right away. I'm I'm in the thick of it. You know, I don't have to worry about my skill set or anything. I'm, I'm in there. I'm, I'm Tome. Tomba. Tomba. <laughs> so what he says is I can, like, personally speaking, it's very pointed, it's very clear to me He's not a MOBA fan. Like, this, the man making this game, or whatever creative director, I'm sorry, I missed his title, uh, is not into MOBAs, and almost, like, seems like he didn't want to be making this game. And so that's, like, a weird... Like, don't have these two people speak to us. The other guy, to me, was speaking like he was doing an interview about, like, hey, so what makes Tome different? And didn't seem like he's speaking to his audience. You know, he says, we see a lot of people, you know, they, they tend to want to give up in a game. Uh, you know, when they feel like the, the odds are stacked against them. Uh, and so it's like, hold on, you're talking to the people who, who feel that way. So It's a, a really good point, Kyle. The, these guys need to be talking into the camera. Yeah. These guys need to be talking directly to the, their audience, to talking to the consumer. People who are people. potentially going to play this game. It's like, I am so confident that this is different from other MOBAs that I, I can barely contain my excitement or fill in all the crazy things I want to tell you in this two-minute trailer. Yeah. You definitely get the vibe that, like, okay, you ask me questions, and I'll just kind of spitball, and hopefully we'll get some good comments <laughs> to put the trailer together. You totally nailed it, Kyle. That's that's totally what the problem is with this. So um, I, I'm seeing here on MMOculture.com. Sorry, um, repeat that again? MMOculture.com. Great. Uh, there's, there's an article about Tome, and they emphasize uh, the, the game's... Uh, action and accessibility. Okay. Which sure. I think is what what they're trying to push in this trailer as well. Wait, who are they though? What's what's, what's the, the name? Oh, the, the developer is Kixeye. Kixeye. K i x e y e. Okay. With the knight logo. Yeah. For some reason. I'll continue to call them Rook. 
Uh, I, I do like the blue screen, though, uh, or the green screen, whatever they chose to use. Uh, sure. I'm actually noticing that more and more, that I prefer that instead of just putting up some weird backdrop. Resident Evil Revelations had a trailer this week that was just two guys with, like, a step and repeat behind them, just, like, in a chair, like, oh, so anyway, Resident Evil. It's like, come on, Capcom, just make it a little more production value here. So I, I, I like the green screen. I actually think that's a great way to do it. Um, Killing Floor 2 uh, did some, uh, has had actually a lot of really good documentaries that we haven't talked about, but they put themselves in front of a green screen and they have more gameplay behind them. So you're always watching because it's Killing Floor with body parts and blood and gore and everything. Sure. So there's, that is constantly happening in the trailer and I think it, it raises the energy where they just kind of have pixie dust floating around them. I don't know. It might, it might help to have the gameplay continue behind them while they're talking. Yeah. Uh, neither of these guys have designer in their name. It's it's definitely weird that we have the general manager speaking to us about what makes the game unique. And always, you know, I, I know what your goal is. Your goal is, yes, what makes this game unique. It's always better just to show us than to tell us what makes it unique. If you want to stress accessibility, if you want to stress action, uh, you need to communicate that better than just having two people speak off camera to someone else. I like the production values, I like the transitions, I like the logo at the end, you know, like it is a fancy trailer, it is cut well, they do make their opinions very succinct, you know, you're not listening to these guys ramble on and on and on. Um, and I know it's not good to like hurt a trailer just for existing, but it always is a little worrisome if you have a, a game that's selling itself like, okay, I know you're not planning on buying this, but here's why you should, you know, yeah. you should maybe have like a little more confidence in your product. And like we were saying earlier, one way that you can convey that confidence is not to require someone off screen to prompt you with answers but actually like be you know um confident enough in your opinions that you can stare right into the camera talk directly to the fans and let them know what's going on my issue with that is i feel like they they kind of do need to kind of they kind of do need to speak about the game because if we did just see gameplay footage we would maybe just look at it and think that looks like every other oh, I mean, MOBA, you know? There's or, way more ways to do a trailer than just show gameplay footage. Yeah, I mean, they, they could do cinematic, they could do something like that, and, and maybe they don't have the money for that is, is free play. Oh, they seem, they seem pretty rich. Well, <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me put it this way. Rich. So what makes, uh, we're talking about this uh, uh, game a lot, what makes Tome different? Speed, right? That was like the first mm -hmm. thing that they talked about. Yeah. So you make a trailer called Speed Matters. Okay. And that's your sell. Yeah, you don't you. make a trailer yeah. being like, okay, this game isn't bad, trust us. You know, you make yeah, a trailer that's like, right. no, we're gonna right. we're gonna get right to that point and we're gonna sell it as as being that. You know, it's like the the DC MOBA, like that's the only place you can play as Batman in a MOBA. That's their main sell. They're not gonna be like, why is DC different? Why I am totally forgetting the name of the the game now. Ooh. There's so many MOBAs now. Yep. But they you know, they they would sell it like these are the characters, this is the brand, this is what you can play as. Not DC like, Universe Online? No, the, mm -hmm. there's a DC MOBA. I can't oh. even, uh, off the top of my head, I can't remember. Look it up, Elise. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, again, it's got nice production values, but it's kind of boring. I, I guess, yeah, they kind the... of sour. I just, maybe I just feel too bad for them. I have too much empathy for these guys. I've been there. No, I've been on the empathy side. It does affect scoring. 7.1. Uh, 6.9. 4.3. Oh, okay. No. You had to force that one out. You I, pooped out that score, Kyle. Yeah, you know what? We're just putting stuff up on the internet at this point. Here, let's just put this up. <laughs> 6.9. Maybe somebody talked them into it. I mean, yeah, somebody did. Somebody talked you into a trailer. Or you know what? Maybe maybe they thought instead of the time and the assets that we will devote to making a trailer, we will put that into making a well-polished game. Talking heads it is. <laughs> maybe or a well-polished logo at the end. Yeah. Time will tell. Yeah. Maybe that's the, the discussion that happened there. Northern Russia. This is where the trail of breadcrumbs ends. Battlefield 4 had another had a, had a great expansion pack. Kyle, I know you just get so pumped, you just you just spin in place. They do good whenever, work on these. Uh, Battlefield 4, yeah, um, and just the yeah, lots. But with the one thing that this Battlefield 4 trailer for Final Stand, which is, I believe is the name of the expansion that's coming to Battlefield 4, did that I really appreciate is there were about eight or ten trailer shots in this trailer that looked like the last shot. <laughs> They're like some jeep came flying over a hill, and I was like, oh, that's it, we're going to logo, and just kept on going. So that's obviously what you want to do, especially with the first-person shooter, especially with the military first-person shooter. Uh, you want to just up the up the ante of your gameplay, and I thought they did it. Yeah, I think you, your term for that is double tap, but they just kept double tapping. I think you came up with double tap. That was yours. That was me. That's all your. That's your innovation. Right, I'm claiming it. I own it. Uh, Far Cry 4 had a launch trailer that I don't like. What? It's yes. The La Vie en Rose. What the hell does La Vie en Rose have to do? With Far Cry. Did they use the Levy on Rose as this trailer song? Um, or not Levy on Rose, it's. Uh, yeah, this is Levy. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the Levy on Rose. Is it Levy on Rose? Yeah. Um, 
yeah, what? What the? What? What on earth does that have to do with Far Cry? Pagan shows up and is like, welcome to Karat, and then just leaves the trailer. It's like, oh, thanks, Pagan, for talking to who? Who are we? What, are, what the hell's going they're on? They're trying to make some quirky juxtaposition. And like none of it's uh, gameplay. It's all like CG trying to look like gameplay. So like, okay, if you're gonna do that. Then make one continuous thing, like have me on a bike, and then I get off the bike, and I grab a weapon and use that, and then get on something else. But it's not; it's like different scenes all kind of smushed together, and it's really short. It's just a weird. You can't fail, UB. You can't do CG that looks like gameplay anymore. We're no. way past that. Don't do that to us anymore. We hate that. I, like I said, I think you can if you create a scenario that I couldn't achieve in gameplay. If you make something yeah. happen that's kind of selling the world of the game. But it's like, oh, that's kind of, like I said, like if it was one shot, if you just yeah. followed him through all these different scenarios and then had the camera pulled back at the end to show all the people fighting or show the two characters in co-op or something. I don't understand this trailer. I did not like it. Uh, Game of Thrones, uh, Iron from Ice got a reveal teaser that I'm mentioning here only because it just exists. Uh, yeah. It didn't necessarily blow me away. I don't think the game's going to be bad, um, but I just thought it was kind of weird. It was really brief. And you it was see just, Tyrion like, I'm drinking wine. It's like, okay. Yeah, it was just kind of a, like a, don't worry, the characters you like are going to be in this. We have a new house that you're going to be playing as, but the gang's all there. It sounds like Lena Headey was the voice. Yeah. That sounds like her, or a, a dynamite voice match. I haven't checked IMDb. I don't know if uh, she's actually in it. Also, strange thing about this, my takeaway, premiering soon. Uh, funny to use the word premiering for a video game. I don't mind it. Uh, but also... Uh, they have no idea when they're going to release this game still. Yeah. Well, There's the, still no release date. The first episode is due out by the end of the year. Yeah, when? What are you doing? The end of this year? Yes. Yeah. That's almost over? Yeah. yeah. Do we have one more month in? <laughs> yes. Will the game, will the release date be announced the month it's being released? I guess that so. That doesn't happen yeah. very often. They're probably Russian. They're probably it's like, Russian winter hard. is coming sometime. <laughs> that should be the tagline for this game. If you're a big Sony fan and you want to have a PlayStation gasm, I recommend checking out the Japanese 20th anniversary trailer for the PlayStation which is just fantastic. I want to cut that stuff. I want to have every Tekken game, every you know, Crash Bandicoot, Tomb Raider, all that stuff. I love that. That's like the last part of every retrospective that I've ever cut. It's just like, wee, Metal Gear. <laughs> I love that. Um, and they obviously had a lot of fun putting that stuff together. And it's Japanese, which is just a super win because there's just games in there. I'm like, I have no yeah. idea what that is. Yeah. That's some crazy game those Japanese people play. Yeah, like montage trailers like that just get you pumped. You... Super pumped. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think they could have done a different song selection. Oh. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely a get pumped. To me, that's like pre-E3. That's not how you celebrate a 20th anniversary. Oh. What song would you pick? A little, little romance. Little, 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 little romance. Yeah, give him a little romance for 20th anniversary. Give me a song. Your, your, your comment is totally negated and worthless unless you can offer one song that they should have picked. These are the days. These are the days that we will remember. <laughs> Wait, is that an actual song or no, are you just I singing something? There's a song that says these are the days. I don't know what it is, but you know. I don't, Great, no, no point there. Obviously don't your do that. Retracted. I'm going to do all but edit your comment out <laughs> of this video. Oh, I'm going to keep please, it, don't but I'm officially that. declaring as the host of Let's All Go to the Trailers that that was a non-comment. Brandon, I'm going to go Le'Veon Rose or Green Day Time of Your Life <laughs> on this one. I, would, I vote Mad World. Uh, and uh, the alpha gameplay reveal. I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna put, I'm gonna bring this oh, up. This, the skies? We're going to watch this right now because this is just too good. The skies alpha reveal. Now, I never want to make fun of other cultures. I never want to make fun of people trying to speak English. Uh, I will just a little bit here. Um, <laughs> but I, I don't understand why the oh. English doesn't work here. I, the frame rate is okay, but I just have... Show this to someone who speaks English. The frame rate is okay? It, well, the game's an alpha. They say it's alpha. Okay. So if yeah. they stress that it's an early version of the game, this is not an okay frame rate to play. Yeah. But if the game is, if you just kind of want to show stuff off, I understand if, if it's an IP I've never heard of before. So it's like, okay, you're a small development team. But, I mean, they have the character creation that, like, the face doesn't change at Characters all. Characters <laughs> customizing. Uh, there's, there were too many funny things here to... to to call out that we, I couldn't, you know, talk about this trailer. But at the same time, like, I don't want to make fun of development teams making small trailers. I don't want to make fun of people yeah. who don't speak English trying to make a trailer in English. Just send it. We'll proofread it. Just send it to us. Uh, one thing that also uh, plays this trailer up a little bit is there is a companion trailer that is their actual Kickstarter trailer that is the weirdest, cockiest, most inappropriate Kickstarter trailer I've ever seen. Where they don't talk about the game at all. It's just a guy being like, hey, I'm in my studio. And like a ghost appears of him in the future that tell him to make a trailer and they put like a penis joke in. It's like, we're watching the wrong video. What? No, this trailer's <laughs> funnier. Uh, believe it or not, this trailer's funnier because I didn't even enjoy that other trailer and I enjoyed this trailer a lot. So if you want yeah. a good laugh, Deep Underground. Deep Underground. Many, not just was, undergrounds, Deep Underground. It's Deep Underground. Yes. Plural. 
Um, but again, see there, you just did it right there. You did the accent. You'll That's offensive, likes. Kyle. That's you'll offensive. It's coming soon. You, you trust. You, so, you play with other players. So, so yeah, if you're a, if English is not your first language, just maybe have one other person outside your company watch the trailer and maybe suggest yeah, on, yeah. Email us. We'll watch it. Yeah, email us. Oh, yeah. Email Brandon at GameTrailers.com. Brandon with an O. Just send it on over, and uh, I'll, 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 I'll give you critiques um, if you want to if you want to get your name out there. Um, I mean, yeah, who's, who, who would play Far Cry 4 when you've got uh, wolf killing of, of this caliber? <laughs> and those are all the trailers that we can talk about this week. Obviously, so many more trailers came out. Kyle is just bending over laughing. It's too much. It's secret places. You go, you, secret places. you find secret places. No one has been here. No one has seen this place until now. We're used to see in 10 frames per second. Uh, thank you guys so much. I think we're like way over time. Uh, we are Let's All Go to the Trailers. We're here every week, every Sunday, talking about trailers. Uh, perhaps Daniel Bloodworth will be back next week. I'm sorry to just boot you off the That's show release. Okay. Thank you so much for filling in. Thanks for having me. Thank you for being here, Kyle. As always. And uh, thank you, Brandon, for being here. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Brandon. Oh, thanks, thank you. Brandon. Brandon, oh, great host. Yeah, you do Let's all give it up for Brandon. Everybody give it up for Brandon. Yeah, up for Brandon. Let's all go to the Brandon, everybody. <laughs> yeah. We'll see you next week.